Well, four days since the Las Vegas mass shooting and still investigators have not discovered the motive. But we are learning more about what the gunman Stephen Paddock was doing in the weeks before the shooting. KCAL 9's Jasmine Veal is live in Las Vegas for us. Jasmine. And Juan, Sheriff Joe Lombardo has said that the gunman Stephen Paddock spent decades getting all of those weapons uh, and lived a secret life. And for the first time this morning, we also heard from the first responders who arrived here to the scene seconds after the gunfire started. And just look at this memorial, how many people are coming out to pay their respects. And the captain's like, that's gunfire. They were right there at the fence to the event. Clark County Fire Chief Greg Castle details for the first time his fire department's response to Sunday's mass shooting. Engine 11 was returning from another call when they were suddenly caught right in the middle of it all. The floodgates opened on Giles and out poured dozens and dozens and dozens of patients, critically, some mortally wounded and swamp that engine company sitting in the middle of the streets. I made a makeshift tourniquet out of a scarf and out of a, out of a branch, I think. And I just I tied it around her leg. I, I tightened it up with the branch, tied it down. Um, I put my finger in some of her blood. I wrote the time on her arm. The firefighters wore these ballistic vests and helmets to protect them from the barrage of gunfire and carried these supplies ready to treat 20 gunshot victims. But of course, there were many more than that. At the Welcome to Las Vegas sign this morning, another victim memorial grows, greeting tourists on their way into or out of the heartbroken city. It's, you know, you kind of feel your chest tighten up. It's, it's, a, it's a graveyard now. It's a burial ground. But then there are the survivors, like 18-year-old Santa Ana High School student Tiffany Weizar. She got a visit from President Trump yesterday. Yeah, he was, like, super nice. He wasn't who we see on social media. He was much more comforting. A week ago, an advertisement like this that says shoot a machine gun seemed normal here in Vegas, but in light of what happened on Sunday inside of that hotel room there at the Mandalay Bay, it brings up a whole lot of different emotions now as a nation debates again about gun control. Meantime, FBI agents continue to comb through the crime scene and process all of the evidence as investigators look at whether the gunman Stephen Paddock tried to book rooms in other hotels across the country near big concert events before Sunday's mass shooting. Yeah, for example, just in downtown Vegas, looking into a hotel uh, that he booked there for the Life is Beautiful Festival just a week prior to this shooting. And Juan, investigators also say it's a possibility that Paddock uh, had an accomplice in all of this because of just a large arsenal of weapons and explosives that he had and that he actually planned to escape. There was no su suicide note. Yes.